Hello, welcome to US News. Today I will take you to Diane Kruger and Norman Reedus finally confirm their romance as they are spotted kissing and holding hands in New York City. A street corner named Desire. Diane Kruger and Norman Reedus finally confirm their romance as they are spotted kissing and holding hands in New York City. The outing comes eight months after the Troy actress ended her relationship with Joshua Jackson. Diane Kruger and Norman Reedus have finally let the world know they're a couple after publicly smooching following a night out in New York. The stars couldn't have looked happier as they walked holding hands after leaving Soho Bar the ship at 2 a.m. on Tuesday. Laughing and smiling broadly together, the pair made a brief stop on a street corner to share a passionate kiss, with Diane then nestling into Norman's neck. In a playful mood, Norman spun Diane around as they danced in the street in front of a bemused passerby. Diane cut a cool figure in a black jacket and turned up blue boyfriend jeans which she teamed with black, heeled ankle boots. Norman rocked his trademark grungy style, wearing a black zip-up hoodie and baggy jeans with skater shoes. According to the Daily Mail, an onlooker said the couple exited the bar happy, smiling and holding hands, and were speaking to random people on the street. They looked like they had a great time. Last July, Diane and her ex Joshua Jackson called it quits after 10 years together. Diane started dating Josh after she split from her husband of five years, French director Guillaume Kinnett. Somewhat awkwardly, Diane, Joshua and Norman all filmed Drama Sky together in 2015. The film sees Diane flee from her abusive husband and fall in love with Rita's character, Diego. What is it, Bar Works Studio, a boutique bar fitness studio that offers traditional bar sculpting classes as well as cardio sculpt and hit classes? Who tried it, Gabriella, people writer and reporter. Level of difficulty, 7, on a scale of 1 to 10. I tried the traditional bar sculpting class which is moderate to advanced in difficulty. If you've never taken a bar class before, you may find it more difficult, but people of all fitness levels will definitely leave the class sore. I have tried out several different bar studios so was interested to see what makes Bar Works Studio unique, especially knowing that Diane Kruger, who looks incredible in a swimsuit and Katherine Schwarzenegger are both fans. The class began with squatting to work the legs, followed by planks, some of which utilized gliders for added difficulty, and push-ups to work the core and arms. Next, we did an arm series using light weights to tone biceps, shoulders and triceps. Then we moved to the bar to work the thighs and seat, we did lots of small, isometric movements like squatting up and down an inch very slowly while squeezing a ball between our inner thighs, that really worked all the muscles in those body parts. What I liked about this class, as opposed to other bar classes I've taken, is that instead of completely fatiguing the thighs and then fatiguing the seat, we switched back and forth between moves to tone each muscle group so that I was actually able to get through all of the exercises instead of dying three quarters of the way through a set and having to stop. The class concluded with ab work, crunches, side twists, etc., on the mat and stretching to lengthen everything out. We do a combination of Pilates, yoga and bar that focuses on small, isometric movements, and then also some larger, functional movements in between. Founder and owner Renee Comper explains. The class tones muscles that you can't get to with traditional exercise. It's so well rounded, it hits and isolates every single muscle group that we want, and it shows. The verdict I really felt like I got a full body workout, and was especially sore in my butt and arms the next day. I would recommend the workout to anyone who wants to really tone their muscles while getting in a bit of cardio to 
Compare says you can burn up to 500 calories in the class. It looks like Diane Kruger and Norman Reedus' romance is heating up. The Hollywood actress and The Walking Dead star were spotted together while they were out and about in Barcelona this on Monday, March 13. Insiders say that Diane tried to keep a low profile after she flew into Barcelona to spend time with Norman. He's currently promoting The Walking Dead throughout Europe. There was earlier speculation that Norman might have pulled the plug on their relationship simply because he didn't like all of the publicity they were getting in the tabloid magazines and gossip blogs. But, it seems as though Diane and Norman are still going strong. Yet, they refuse to confirm or deny the rumors that they are seeing each other. Back in December, Diane was spotted at the launch of Norman's photography book in Paris. After that, Diane took a solo vacation without her beau, prompting rumors that they were no longer together. So could they possibly be just friends with benefits? Diane Kruger and Norman Reedus reportedly had a real-life fling after playing a couple in the 2015 movie Sky. Some even believe that Diane might have broken things off with her long-term partner Joshua Jackson because of The Walking Dead actor. Diane and Norman were apparently spotted making out in New York City back while the actress was still trying to work things out with her ex, and then Diane and Josh ended up calling it quits for good that year. At this point, many fans believe that Diane Kruger and Norman Reedus are more than just friends. After all, they've been hiding their relationship under the radar for almost a year now. It will only be a matter of time before the truth about their romance comes out. Rumor has it that Diane wants to go public with their relationship, it's Norman who is trying to keep things under wrap. He doesn't like being in the celebrity spotlight and clearly doesn't like to be asked about his personal life, either. Tell us. Are you surprised to see Diane Kruger and Norman Reedus together in Barcelona? Drop us a line with your thoughts in our comments section below. Also, don't forget to check back with CDL for all the latest news and updates on Diane Kruger and Norman Reedus. While nearly every other attendee of the Oscars and its after parties opted for gorgeous gowns, Diane Kruger went in a different direction. The actress stepped out on the red carpet at the Vanity Fair Oscars party wearing a metallic mini dress from Alexander Vothier. The look, which was shown on the runway during Paris Fashion Week, Haute Couture in January, was made of a luxurious, metallic fabric. In addition to a super short hemline and a tie front piece of fabric, the one-shoulder silhouette also showed some side boob. Kruger's ensemble was met with lots of praise from the designer of the piece himself. On Instagram, Vothier captioned one of the pictures of the actress hash sublime. Commenters agreed. Your body is unreal Diane, wrote one. Another shared, an astonishing woman who is also sharp as a warrior. Fierce, gorgeous, stunning and classy were among the other overwhelmingly positive reviews of her look. While Kruger famously styles herself, she does rely on hairstylists and makeup artists. Her hair, which she recently chopped off for a roll, was parted to the side and curled, while her eyes popped thanks to a dramatic smoky eye and winged eyeliner. She split from her long-term lover Joshua Jackson not long after they were spotted making out in a New York bar. And Diane Kruger seemed to have followed rumored new beau Norman Reedus to Barcelona where he was promoting The Walking Dead on Monday. The actress looked like she was trying to keep a low profile as she hid her famous features underneath a hood and sunglasses as she wandered around the Spanish city. The Troy beauty was almost unrecognizable as she wandered around in her hooded top, jeans and boots. At one point the 40-year-old German checked her mobile phone, perhaps after getting a loving message from the Walking Dead star, who was in town to promote the hit TV show.
he seemed delighted to mingle with locals in the picturesque Catalan city, before eventually making his way into an art gallery. Many thanks for watching our channel video. If you see or click the subscribe button and share to support yourself offline. Thank you and see you in the next newsletter. Bye bye.